the property that we are touring today is 220 Windsor Drive. Uh, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath home uh, with a two car garage. We're standing um, at entry and uh, we'll take a look around. Um, so when you first enter into the unit, you have your living room to the right, um, stairs to the left, and then a hallway leading to the half bath and the kitchen. Uh, we'll go ahead and start here in the living room. Uh, it does have carpet, living room, dining room, and all of the bedrooms upstairs. So this just gives you an overview of your living room space. And it does, that's a gas fireplace at this location. Um, and then the official dining room in here. These guys are using it as a little exercise play area. Pretty cool. And then it just leads into the kitchen space. Um, kitchen's pretty standard. Comes with all of your major appliances, uh, stove, refrigerator, over the range microwave, dishwasher, and laundry. Um, so it is an eat-in style kitchen. So you have plenty of additional space for uh, a dining room table in here. And then doorway, excuse me, walkway leading back um, to the hall there for the stairs and the entry. Uh, you do have a nice, large, oversized pantry storage space in the kitchen. And then your laundry area, French doors leading to the rear patio. So patio space, a nice large backyard and a little side lot. This is an end unit. Uh, so you don't have a neighbor on one side of the property. And then um, two car garage is located in here. These guys are using this as storage as well, but um, plenty of room to get to uh, vehicles in here, plenty of room for uh, storage, lawn care equipment, that kind of thing. The additional refrigerator you see that actually belongs to um, the residents. There's also another doorway there behind some of the stuff that they're storing and I'll show you that space. Um, it's just additional storage um, or the previous resident kind of converted it into a little office space, but it's just more storage area. Your heating, cooling system is housed in here and breaker box, water tank, some line shelving, that kind of thing. Okay, we will head upstairs in just a moment and take a look at those bedrooms. Um, and here on the main level, it's just your traditional half bath. And then at the top of the stairs, um, to the left, we have bedroom number one. It's the over the garage room. Uh, full bath, and then down the hall, we have a bedroom to the right, to the left, and then straight back is the master. Uh, we will start here in this room, which is the room above the garage. So nice, large, open space. Uh, some people have even treated this as kind of like an additional living area for them, if you don't have a need for off the true four bedrooms. So closet space in there. And then you have a second closet space on this side. A little setup, you could do a home office there possibly. And then full size bathroom here in the hall. Pretty standard. 
touch shower combo, restroom and vanity. And you do have linen storage here in the hallway as well, or in this bathroom as well. Forgive me, I'm getting a little tongue tied. And then our first bedroom to the right. Try to give you just a little quick little overview, closet space, double door closet. And then our bedroom to the left and here, which uh, this bedroom and the one that we just came out of, they're about the same size. So you probably get a twin or full size bed in here, uh, you know, with a dresser, maybe a computer desk, but you wouldn't be able to get anything larger than a full size bed comfortably. And then master bedroom is located in here. And then master has its own private bathroom, his and her style vanity, restroom, tub shower combo. And then we have a walk-in closet there. I'm not gonna be too intrusive and go into their closet, but that is a nice, large, deep walk-in closet. That concludes our video of 220, excuse me, 305 Windsor Drive. This is not 220. This is 305. Thank you.